Harlan School Shooter. This week we got a disturbing look at the letters and drawings Nicholas Cruz made while in jail and during the trial. They are full of violent imagery and certainly give us an idea of the shooter's mental state. It was day three for the defense today, and both a psychologist and a therapist who treated the confessed killer took the stand. One said that Cruz had been bullied and had other problems with children. The other said he was isolated, withdrawn, and suffering from anger issues. CBS 4's Gabrielle Arzola also spoke to a mental health specialist. She joins us live with more. Gabby? Hi there, Elliot. Well, like you said, this entire week has been focused on what could be going through Nicholas Cruz's mind. Well, these pictures could give us a glimpse. So, so what you see with the drawings is you see him trying to appear strong. Drawings, dozens of them highlighting what could be going on in Nicholas Cruz's head. Throughout his sentencing, we've seen Cruz write on a notepad. As it turns out, he was drawing this, illustrating things like a school shooting his victims with faces of horror. Meanwhile, the shooter in this photo, smiling. Also, what is, is possible is he's proud of what he's done. He's happy with what he's done. James Phillips um, is a mental health expert and counselor and analyzed these drawings. Some also have notes saying he wants to be on death row and wants to be buried with a woman. Despite the disturbing context, Phillips says these pictures could show a time where Cruz felt in control. Only time that Nick felt powerful was when he was holding the firearm, and you can see that reflected in the drawings. Today, Cruz's childhood psychologist testified in court, saying he was isolated, withdrawn, suffering from anger issues, and that his adoptive mother was not consistent to get him the help he needed. Phillips says these photos are a clear sign of pre-existing mental illness, which is why these pictures with shootings and 666 markings and the praise for Satan could actually be comforting for Cruz. And you're sitting in a courtroom hearing about all these horrible things you've done, and you want to draw the thing that gives you comfort. You want to have to bring the thing that gives you comfort in front of you. And for as crazy as it sounds and as you know sick as it sounds, that action gave Nick comfort. That, act, that action gave him a better feeling than he had before he did it. Now, tomorrow we're expected to hear more about Cruz's upbringing, and court is set to start again in the morning. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Gabrielle Arzola, CBS 4 News, tonight.